Hello guys, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, all of you for uh, liking, sharing, and subscribing in my channel. Please uh, keep updated with my videos and uploads. Stay tuned with my channel. And today we will try to explain how an object with my example here is presented in the orthographic drawing in a third angle projection. Let us begin. And we are back here guys uh, today we will try to uh, present or answer our some of our subscribers from different parts of the world they are requesting me for a presentation of the third angle projection of the same uh, figure we have it here they are asking me if I could present the third angle projection because last time I presented the uh, first angle projection as you can see in my video in my channel. By the way, don't forget to like, uh, share, and please subscribe in my channel. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we will stra start to uh, present to you how our third angle projection is pre presented in our orthographic drawing but first let me differentiate first the first angle projection uh, versus the third angle projection first and foremost the first difference of the first angle to a third angle projection is the projection of course uh, you should always remember that uh, in the first angle projection, our projection planes or the views are projected backwards. And while the in the third angle projection, our views or the projection plane is presented or projected in front of the views. Okay, so now I will show you now how to or the step by step procedure on how to create the orthographic drawing of this figure in a third angle projection. Let us begin. First and foremost, I want to have my horizontal and my vertical axis first. So I will start by drawing a line from here up to here. There you go. Okay. All right. And then after that, of course, we need our vertical axis okay so from here let me okay here okay make sure that uh, in drawing you should always use first light lines so that uh, whenever you have uh, mistakes or errors you can easily uh, erase the lines okay in this part I will make it a visible line here there you go our vertical and horizontal axis now with my horizontal and vertical axis I uh, always want to put spaces with my vertical and horizontal axis so in this case I will put one centimeter on both sides just remember always remember that uh, if you will put one centimeter in the left side or in the right side of course with the rest of the lines you should always put uh, one centimeter all of them okay so I will mark my one centimeter here and the left 
and one centimeter here on the right side and now i will use a light line only with those spaces there you go and at the bottom part of course with the help of our 45 degree by 90 degree triangle and of course if you have your spaces in your vertical axis of course we should always put also our spaces in our horizontal axis now with the help of our t square draw light lines only as your spaces in your horizontal line there you go we have our vertical and horizontal axis now the next part will be your projection line in this case the projection line will be in the first quadrant since we are here in a third angle projection now using my triangle 45 degree by 90 degree triangle i will make a line going here and this will be your projection line there you have it all right so we have our projection line in our first quadrant in our second quadrant we will be putting our or drawing our top view so i will label first my top view here we have our top view and then here at the bottom part we have our front view and lastly of course we have our right side view here or our side view there you go our three main views the top view the front view and the side view as you can see the front the top view is uh, on top of the, our front view and the side view or the right side view is on the right side of our front view so let's begin let's start with our front view as you can see in our example here we have the isometric drawing and with the dimensions with it and as you can see the width is equivalent to 60 millimeters or 60 units here in this case we will start with our corner here so what i want you to do is we want to measure 60 millimeters from this corner going to the left so using my t square i will count six centimeter or 60 millimeters from here that would be one two three four five and six I will mark my six centimeters here or 60 millimeters there you go and then since this is our front view as you can see in our example here we have our height with a measurement of 60 as well 60 millimeters so say for example this is our corner you will measure 60 as well here using our t square of course there you go so i will this is six and we have five four three two one zero until here i will mark my 60 millimeters here so 60 and 60. now with these marks as you can see you can already make an outline here just to remind you to use uh, light lines only uh the beginning of your drawing so you can easily delete or erase unnecessary lines if you want so back to our figure as you can see if this is our front view this is this the our uh viewer or our observer is here this will be our front view 
Now, in our front view, as you can see, we have a cut here in the middle part here and here as well. And based on our example here, we have 30 height from here up to here. So, what we will do is we will measure 30 millimeters from here, from our zero, from this corner. Let me fix this first. Ah, okay. So, from zero, that is, this is zero. And then one, two, and three. Three centimeters or equivalent to 30 millimeters. There you go. Okay. So, next thing we want to do is to find the 30 millimeters here. How can we do that? Of course, using your T-square. So, from here, you will measure 30. That is one, two, and three. Half of 60 is 30 millimeters. There you go. And again... We have our marks here and here. All we have to do is to project these lines going here. And using our triangle, project all the lines here. And there you go. You can delete now or erase the unnecessary lines. And make the lines visible. Now, with the use of my pen, I will make it visible lines first so that you can see in the camera from here going here that would be 60 millimeters and then let's continue here draw a visible line with horizontal lines here another one here there you go. And of course, let's make our vertical lines visible with the help of our pen, our magic pen here. There you go. And then here. And we have another one here. And there you have it, our front view, as you can see. So this view is the same with our front view here, if our cursor will be here. Then, next is our top view. Later on, we will put dimensions after we put all the measure, uh, I mean the views. Okay, so now, upon having our front view here, we will now make our top view. In making our top view, it is easier now because we have our, we do have our uh, front view here. Our front view now is given, so now let's construct our top view. In constructing the top view, all you need to do is to project all the vertical lines from your front view or the corners from your front view. Now, from here, I will project all the lines going up. And then here, again, all the lines going up, vertical line. And here, we already have that line, so no need. And as you can see, from here, we can find that the width of our top view will be the same 60 as well. So from here, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right. With our depth, as you can see, in reference to our reference object here, our isometric drawing, we can see that the depth has a 60 millimeters measurement okay so from here we will measure 60 millimeters let us so this is say for example this is zero now if we will count one two three four five and six and there you go so from here that would be 60 millimeters let's check this one two three four five and six correct 
and then upon having your marks here 60 millimeters depth all you need to do again is choose your t square and draw a horizontal line going there and there you go we already have our top view all we need to do now is to make our lines visible lines using our magic pen again here that would be 60 30 from here up to here that would be 30 millimeters and then from here to here another 30 millimeters which is equivalent to 60 millimeters as well as in our uh, upper portion here let's put it in a visible line and there you go next is our vertical lines from here going to this corner and also as well here up to that point and another visible line here from this corner up to this corner and there you go our top view now as you can see these parts these two parts are the same as with our top view here in our isometric drawing all right so we st uh, we still have one remaining view which is the side view to be specific this will be our uh, right side view now how can we determine or how can we project our right side view here in our drawing already given our top view and our front view all you need to do is to project the lines say for example from here in our front view I will project all the horizontal lines going to my side view going to and then again horizontal lines from here going here project all the horizontal lines going to our side view and of course another horizontal line here which we do have already and done okay and then from our top view we will project all the lines also going the horizontal lines going to our projection line let's start let's do it come here project all the lines to our projection line boom and then here as well we have another horizontal line here project all the lines going here boom and therein as you can see from this corner all you have to do is to project the line from your miter uh, line or projection line going to your side view down there and as well as here going here but we do already have our line there and as you can see we can already have our side view here now all you have to do is to make our visible line again with the help of our match there you go another line here and we have another horizontal line here on top and then of course a vertical line at this point up to this line and, and go our side view or the right side view and that is how you project your orthographic drawing in a third angle projection using your sample figure here thank you so much for listening and see you around again with our next video tutorial for your requests and questions you may comment down below and then please don't forget to hit the like button share please with your friends and subscribe thank you so much see you again ciao